Hi, I'm Ben Wadilla. This is Saturday Mechanic. Today what we're going to do is going to be real easy. We're going to change some headlights, but I'm going to show the owner, Pat, how to do it. Headlights are actually one of the easier jobs, uh, as I mentioned before, but you mentioned you had never done it, right? At exactly. least not on this car. Exactly. Okay, ever, so... Ever. Ever. <laughs> ever, ever. <laughs> so, uh, you were saying that you were thinking about taking it to the shop, but... Right. That's a bad idea. I mean, it's a really a pretty easy job. And this car is easier than most, actually. Hmm. Um, if you want to take a look, these, okay. these uh, headlights are actually designed in such a way that light bulbs can be changed without tools. Like, oh, you can do okay. it all by hand. You see these caps down here? Mm -hmm. There's one for each headlight, and this cap actually rotates about a quarter turn, and uh, it'll come off. To the... Uh, I don't know. Let's give it a crank. See what oh, happens. Oh, there we go. I got it. All right. So there we go. this, if you look has got a, a sort of a rubber seal on it, and that keeps moisture out of the headlight housing. Oh, okay. So we'll set that aside not for a, hard a moment. Part. Uh, it's not that hard. So if we look in there, you can see that there's there's some wires running into this, this fitting here. Uh -huh. That's a connector. So this should turn in the housing. There we go. Just a little bit. You see how that rotated? Yep. Now you can pull it straight back and out. Oh. There, there we go. Okay. All right. So ah. this is this is called a halogen bulb, right? And okay. They they, uh, they run a very high temperature, um, and as a result, we have to be kind of careful with them when we're putting a new one in. So this, I think, if we look at it, should just pull straight up. If you want to try, don't pull by the glass. Oh. Pull by the housing. Okay. Is this the housing? Yep. Should wiggle out uh, mm. just like a light socket. Here, let me see. Hey, you gotta be careful. Don't don't put pressure on the uh, on the bulb because you'll end up sma uh, shattering oh, okay. it. Okay, so you just so kind of you got two slowly. two little socket holes in there that match on the bulb. So how do you know where to where to get the bulb or what kind of bulb to get? All right. So when you go into the parts store, they've mm -hmm. got uh, they've got these books uh, on the shelf in the headlight aisle, and uh, and you basically just look through those books and you find the model and year of car that you have. Okay. And they'll say you need a BP 1255-H7. And okay. that's what fits this car. In general, they, all the bulbs work the same. So this, you have to be very careful with these because they're so high temperature, don't you, don't, you don't touch the glass, right? Okay. Now, if you touch the glass, you end up getting your finger grease on there and that's gonna cook on the surface and eventually cause uh, heat stress and the glass will crack and your bulb will go out again. And then I have to do it all over again. Exactly. Okay. But if you do happen to touch it accidentally, all you go is to your medicine cabinet, grab some rubbing alcohol, clean them off, and okay. they should be okay. So with this one, we've got a, a little tang on the side here, so that'll show us how to plug it in. So now we're gonna put this into the, into the plug, and it can only really go in two ways. As you can That's see, fine. there's a plug socket here and two plug prongs here, and okay. it can go in this way, or it can go in this way, but because there's a tang on this socket, it can only actually go in this direction. Oh, okay. Yep, I got it. So take this carefully, okay. press that Don't in there. Don't touch the bulb. Don't touch the bulb, okay. and press it, press it in there so it's flush. Okay. Should go click there. That looks like you're good. Okay. Yep. So now what we're going to do Exciting. is slide that back into place. Okay. And back it should into. slot in there, and you'll give it about a sixteenth of a turn, and it'll lock in. Okay. Is there any certain way I have to? Aim it in there? No, the the aiming is done uh, with the housing of the bulb. It's just a matter of getting it keyed in correctly with the uh, with the notches in there. Here, let me see if I can deliver some <laughs> insight on what's going on. So if you look I'm down in here, you've got these two wings right here, right? Mm -hmm. And these slide underneath these two screws. So you put that in place. Okay down in there, and you give it a little twist. So it locks. And that locks down. Okay. And then we're set. All right. And now the cover goes back on. Okay. That's the part I think I can handle. That should settle in pretty easily. Okay. Turn it. And it's locked in place. Everything Click. is set up. All right, I think we've got it. How about you go turn the lights on and we'll see if they work. Okay. All right, turn them on. Hey, look at that. They work. Oh, that's great. I was blind and now I can see. Thank you. <laughs> yep. And in the future, you can uh, change your bulbs on your own. Absolutely. So, I think 
with that, we're all set here. If you have any questions about how to change halogen bulbs or even the old school sealed beams, feel free to leave those in the comment section below.